Welcome back, everybody. Food, music, and a big barn mm -hmm. dance. The Kilgore Station Bluegrass Festival is coming back to Cross Plains. This is the 10th anniversary of the fest, so it's nothing new, and it promises to be better than ever. So exciting. And today we are here with Barry Richards. It looks like it's going to be a blast. Absolutely. Yes. We are so excited about it. It's coming up Friday night and then all day Saturday. Friday night is the Junior Fiddle Contest, the Dan Kelly Junior Fiddle Contest. And this year, cash prizes for 14 and under fiddle players. If you play any other kind of beginner bluegrass instrument, uh, banjo, guitar, mandolin, harmonica, whatever it is, we start that at 5 o'clock on Friday. And then when we're done with that, it's the Big Barn Dance. We've got uh, Larry and Cheryl Chun, who are members of the Opry Square Dance Group, and they are going to lead the, uh, the square dance. We have a real uh, square dance band, and you don't have to know how to square dance. You can come out. Okay, good. <laughs> they'll give you some lessons, but we'll have some ringers there, too. You'll see some really, Good. really cool dancing, and it's a lot of fun. A lot of people don't even dance. They just bring their lawn chairs out. Uh, we open the barn up, and uh, they just gather around and watch everybody having a big time. Oh, I love that. Fun. That sounds like a and lot then of live, fun. Live music all day Saturday. We've got seven bands this year. It's more bands than we've ever had before. It starts at 10 on Saturday morning and goes to 9 at night, and it's only $10 admission for both days. Oh, wow. So affordable. That's 12, great. 12 and under get in free. So it's a great family-friendly event. It's, it's, a, it's a wonderful time. Now, we were talking in the break about the history of Cross Plains and of this festival. Talk about the barn itself. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, Cross Plains is the first settlement in Robertson County, but it was originally called Kilgore Station. That's why we call it the Kilgore Station Bluegrass Festival. And that was founded in the late 1700s. And the park itself has an authentic tobacco barn from when it was a farm. And I've talked to fellows who, you know, hung tobacco in that barn when they were teenagers. The city has done a phenomenal job of setting the park up. They've got all kinds of, of recreational opportunities for people. But the barn, they put a stage on the side of it and they've poured concrete on the inside. So for the performances, we've got that wonderful covered stage and it's in a natural bowl. Bring your lawn chair. Right. You can sit in the shade, you can sit in the yeah. sun. We'll have tents. If it's a little bit of rain, you can get in under the tent. It's a covered stage. And uh, of course, for the square dance on Friday night, that's all inside the barn. It's very, very cool. Are you gonna be square dancing? Uh, no, I'll be taking pictures. Oh, <laughs> that's my right. excuse for not square all dancing. All right. <laughs> what about the vendors? Absolutely, we're gonna have some yeah. great vendors. Doesn't we end. always do. Yeah. We've got, uh, this year I know for a fact we have barbecue, that mm, you have to have barbecue yum, at yum. the festival in Tennessee. We're gonna have some uh, fried catfish. We've got some other vendors bringing hot dogs and hamburgers and anything you can imagine. So come hungry <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, and bring your lawn chair. That's the two number one things to tell people. Okay. Uh, last question for you. What is it about bluegrass that you love so much? Bluegrass, it, it, I mean, it is the roots. It's, it's the only, you know, it, it is Americana, yeah. but it traces its roots back to, to Europe and the, nat and, and the uh, Scottish traditions, the Irish traditions, the English traditions of stringed instruments. And there's so many people that love it, and it brings people together because all ages can listen to it and enjoy it, and so many people like to play it. And we've got, you know, you'll see musicians on stage there that are going from, from teenagers, you know, all the way up to 80 years old. So it's something that a lot of people can share and have a lot of enthusiasm for. So, and, and it's just a lot of fun to hang out. How much fun. Okay, and 10th annual, mm -hmm. obviously people are coming back again and again. Absolutely. What is, why should people make their weekend plans and come out to the Kilgore Station Bluegrass Festival? It's just a lot of fun. It, and like I said, with only a $10 admission for both days, you can come out on Friday night, enjoy the, the junior fiddle contest, you can uh, enjoy the square dance, whether you dance or not, and then all day, a full day of music from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. and get to see some great bands from all around the region. Uh, I won't so be square cool. dancing, but I will be dancing. I want to square dance. <laughs> I think mean, that sounds fun. Thank you Absolutely. so much. Y'all come on out. All right, all right. Well, make sure to check it out, you guys. Visit KilgoreStation.com and check out the 10th Annual Bluegrass Festival happening this weekend. Don't miss out.